Hello, welcome back to another video. Apologies for the long break, I think like a week break um, since the last vlog, but David's mom was in town all last week and we basically just were working our butts off the entire time. We got all of the curtains up and she like hemmed all the curtains that needed it. We put together our bed frame and the crib and just all kinds of stuff. The whole time she was here, we were just going, going, going. So I didn't really pick up my camera, but we have made a ton of progress in the house since the last time I showed you guys, but I will do that in a separate video. This video is going to be our baby moon. We are actually heading to Park City today. Check-ins at four and it's only like 2.30 right now and it's an hour drive. So we'll probably end up leaving around like three or four. We aren't like in a rush to get out there since it's so close and we're just gonna go to dinner tonight and relax. Updates on the pregnancy. We had an appointment um, and David's mom actually got to come with us and they did an ultrasound so she got to see the baby and she is definitely head down, which is great. And she's healthy and she's all good and I'm good too, but I have been super sensitive and really emotional <laughs> because it's getting close. And as y'all know, if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, we've been so busy and like getting the house ready and stuff. It's just a lot of work. So um, <laughs> somebody could look at me wrong right now and I burst into tears. So I'm just feeling really tense and stressed and ready to have this house completely done and we still have a bunch of stuff we have to order for the baby so that's what's going on i'm feeling really uncomfortable i'm feeling really big let me give you guys a little bump update we're huge we are huge i'm about to be 35 weeks um so i'm feeling very big and i can't breathe I'm not sleeping, <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. And I knew this was coming, like everyone tells you the third trimester can be really uncomfortable towards the end. They are not lying, it's very uncomfortable. And you know, another reason that I'm like super irritable and sensitive. <laughs> so poor David and poor everyone else that's around me. But David just got back from dropping the dogs off at the sitter. He has a couple things that he needs to do before we head out. And I'm just going to do my hair real quick. But yeah, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to the Baby Moon vlog. We don't really have a ton planned for the trip. It was really just meant to get out of the townhouse for a little bit and relax. I think we're going to get like a spa pass one day. Hang out there. And... I have a dinner reservation and a couple other places I wanna try, but it's kind of a short trip. So anyway, I'll be bringing you guys along with us. So welcome back to another vlog and I will see y'all later on. Oh, cute. Oh, it's very cozy. Oh, yeah. I like that they left the lights up. Yeah. Oh my god, those truffles. Yeah. <laughs> that must be like the Airbnb snack. All right, guys, we just made it. It's a little studio. It's very cozy. There's a fireplace and TV. And look at this. <gasps> oh my god. Big tree right here. Oh, this is so nice. I wish y'all could feel the weather right now. It is absolute perfection in this view oh, this is that walking path right there? yeah I think so <laughs> nice. this is beautiful walk. big king-size bed Post it up with you. and some movies little bathroom I like that the sink and stuff is separate from like the toilet and shower that's always nice and my favorite a window in the bathroom I love it I love having this open when it's like when you're taking a hot shower and it's cold and crisp outside. Wow. All right, so we're here. Baby Moon begins. Are you also as hungry as I am? I haven't eaten anything all day. Okay, so you're hungry. <laughs> we're both really hungry. 
Um, it only took like 50 minutes to get here, which is really nice. This is very cozy. I am so excited to like get the fireplace going, open the screen door. It's supposed to be like 60, oh no, it's supposed to be like in the high 40s, low 50s. Um, we could open that up, have the fireplace and watch a movie. It'd be really nice. This view is great and it's like 70 degrees right now. So we're gonna go grab stuff out of the car and then um, figure out what we're doing for dinner. I wake up the same old way Grab my coffee cup And try to face the day but I felt different, I must say I feel like maybe heaven Heard me when I prayed Every night I asked for you Good morning guys It is, what time is it? Oh, exactly 11 o'clock um, We stayed up until around like 1 last night Watching the first Jaws movie and then the second Jaws movie. <laughs> Mostly I was just trying to stay upright long enough to like let everything digest so it would get terrible heartburn. And it wasn't as bad as I normally get it, but around 4 a.m. it did hit me and I had to like <laughs> prop up my pillows and make sure I slept like basically sitting up for a few hours until it went away. But um, we both just got done getting ready. We're just doing little active outfit today because oh, downtown no. Park City is super hilly <laughs> You're like on an incline so I had a different outfit picked out but it required sandals that will not be easy to get up all those inclines with so we're gonna go downtown to a place called the Bridge Cafe um, and get some brunch <laughs> All right, y'all, we just got done with breakfast. We're right over there, across the bridge, across at the, the bridge. bridge Cafe. <laughs> oh my God, if you are watching this video because you're <clears throat> interested in coming to Park City um, for a little trip, you absolutely have to eat there. We got the um, burrito, which is just breakfast burrito. It's like Brazilian style food. And um, the pancakes, and I got a caramel latte. Oh my gosh. That was like the most satisfying meal. So that is a must. You have to go and get breakfast there. Now we're just gonna walk around the little town. Probably pop into a shop where I can, um, I always get like a little sweatshirt of like different places that we travel to. And then if you can see behind me, I don't know. Yeah, looks like it's gonna rain. So if it does rain, we'll go back, open up the screen door and just watch a movie and relax. Hello guys, it is um, almost six now. We were just laying in bed and we watched Jaws 3 because we watched the first two last night. And then um, the movie Electric Horseman was on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, it's like, I think it's a late 80s, early 90s movie with Robert Redford and Jane Fonda. Um, it's one of my mom's favorite movies. So growing up, I watched it like a handful of times. And so we watched that and that was nice just to rest and chill. My feet, I don't know if you can tell, but I have them back completely from all the resting I've been doing. And they're like not swollen at all. Um, so we'll see how long that lasts, but got the fireplace going. We have the screen door open. It's like actually pretty chilly outside. 
it's super nice. I just got done doing my makeup. I'm about to touch up my hair a little bit and then get dressed for dinner. So I think I mentioned yesterday that the place that we booked or that I made a reservation for, it's kind of like this Irish, um, yeah, Irish style food and it looked really good. It had really great reviews. I made a reservation like weeks ago and when we were walking past it yesterday, it said it was gonna be closed. Um, even though they confirmed my reservation through a text, but I called and no one answered and I haven't heard back. So I'm assuming they're gonna actually be closed, but we'll go ahead and head down there and make sure. And if not, we have like a backup restaurant that we're gonna go to. I think it's like a little Thai place. We walked past it last night and it looked really cozy and we both love Thai food. So that works out. Anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll show you guys my outfit for tonight. See if I can show you guys the outfit. Good morning. It is almost 11 o'clock now and it's our last full day. We are heading to go get breakfast. We're just gonna go to the same place we went to yesterday, the Bridge Cafe. Like I was telling you guys, it was so satisfying and so delicious. Um, so we're gonna get that. And then afterwards, we're gonna head over to the spa. We have a couple's massage at two o'clock today, but you get access to the spa for the entire day if you book a service. So we'll get there a couple hours early, check out the sauna and the hot tub. And I'm pretty sure they have like an outdoor area too. Um, but I don't know if there's like a pool or hot tub out there or whatever, but I will <clears throat> try and film as much as I can on my phone. I did not sleep great last night and randomly woke up. If you guys, I'm sure you can hear that. All this congestion and like, have been coughing like crazy. I don't know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> but I sound like a man <laughs> and it won't go away. And then my back was really hurting last night. Just sleeping while you're this pregnant, it, you just don't, you do it's not sleep. <laughs> so hopefully today is like exactly what I need. Um, and I hope the massage is great. It has really good reviews. We're going to the spa at Hotel Park City and all the reviews I saw were really great. It's a, but I, it did say that it was like kind of a small place but that the massage therapists were very good. So, show you guys what we get at breakfast, even though it's probably gonna be the exact same thing as yesterday, because that was so good. And then we will head over to the spa. I do, 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 I
it is now a little bit after four. Um, we had our massages, our couple's massage at two. Oh it was so amazing. I feel like so relaxed. And then we were just out at the pool. Um, the sun came out for a little bit, so we were just like laying out, caught in the hot tub. And now David's gonna get in the sauna. And I'm gonna shower, wash my hair. Um, and then we're gonna head out of here, go back and change and go get some early dinner. But it has been amazing so far. guys we are refreshed and showered feeling good um really though it does feel nice washed my hair there and lathered myself in lotion and now we're just walking to dinner we're gonna do pasta and pizza I'll make sure to film it for you guys dinner we were sitting outside originally and we got a couple appetizers a pizza and a pasta and then halfway through our pizza and pasta started sprinkling so we moved inside and ordered another pizza and gelato for dessert <laughs> but we boxed up half the pizza to have here in a little bit it's really really good food um, and then we walked back in the rain but it was just a light rain. It is cloudy and sprinkling and it's very, very cozy. Got the fireplace going. <laughs> Got the screen door open over there. And we are going to get in bed, watch some movies. And that's what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the night. It is not even seven o'clock yet, which is great. Um, I think we have to check out at 10 tomorrow. So, um, having an earlier night is nice. We'll probably watch a couple movies and then go to bed. But today has been a perf a perfection day. Perfection. A perfect day. Perfect Spent like five hours at the spa, got massages. We had a delicious breakfast and then a really good dinner. And then we're just gonna cozy up. What? Can you turn the fan off? That's been on. Oh. We're gonna cozy up and watch some movies. Hello guys, we are back home. Um, David is, well he should be back any minute now from picking up the girls. Um, we came back and unpacked everything and I just got done vacuuming and like cleaning up and making sure everything's like organized. Yeah, that trip is exactly what we both needed. We were both talking about that on the way home. Like we just feel rejuvenated and we really needed to rest and take a break and get out of the townhouse for a little bit. Um, so we're both feeling good and I'm actually like feeling motivated to like get back to work on the house. Um, we got our little end of the bed storage ottoman right before we left for the trip. So um, David will take that upstairs and put that together. And then we have a new queen bed frame for the guest room that needs to be put together. 
and I think that's all the furniture, which is great. And then we just have like a couple of pictures and art that needs to be hung because we didn't get to all of it the other day. But I'm gonna show you guys, so y'all can see, we did put some stuff up. I'm gonna show you guys all of that in the next video because by that point, almost all of it will be done. We're also doing a huge <laughs> Amazon order tonight of all the stuff that's left for the baby, the nursery, um, hospital bag, postpartum stuff, and um, really looking forward to getting that order. And then my mom will be here next week while David is on a work trip, and her and I will unbox all of that, wash all of her clothes, and start organizing the nursery and getting it ready for her arrival, which is getting very close. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and coming along to our baby moon with us. We had a really, really good time. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Even